Tech with Brent. Tech with Brent and the Tech with Adele. Today on Tech with Brent, I want to show you one of my favorite apps that I use pretty much every day. And this app is Google Photos. So what this app allows you to do, it, you can back up all of your photos through Google at an unlimited amount. So many of us use our phones to mostly take photos. I take my photos of the kids, of myself, or whatever. And so I want to show you how you can back up those photos so that you never have to worry about if you lost your photos or not. And I'm gonna do all this through the Google Photos app. So first I'm gonna show you how to set up the app and then what happens once you have it all set up and you just start taking photos. So let's dive in. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is make sure you have the latest version of the Google Photos app. Okay. This works on Android as well as iOS or Apple phones. So first go into the Play Store and then search for Google Photos It should pop up there as an option. And make sure that you have the most up-to-date version so that you can have the latest and greatest features. So here I'm just gonna update this. Okay, now that our app is installed, all we need to do is open it up. And here you're gonna allow the app to access your photos. Here's our welcome screen. It's just gonna give you some information about what the app is gonna do. So here we have our backup and sync settings. So that is automatically enabled and I can actually change the settings if I need to. So here I can do high quality, which actually allows you to do an unlimited amount of high quality photos. If you wanna back up your full resolution, you can choose original and they give you 15 gig of storage, but you can also buy more storage from, from Google. Um, here, since I'm on my cellular network, I'm actually gonna choose use cellular, cellular data. But if you have a limited data plan, you probably don't want to select this. Um, then is what it will do is it just backs up when you are at your home on your Wi-Fi. So here I'm going to hit save. And if you want to change the account that you back up to, you can also change that right there. And I'm going to hit done. So then it's telling you a few things that you can do. You can pinch to see your photos. Uh, you can also hold down and then drag to select multiple photos to delete or share. So is what this is gonna do, it's gonna take a look at the photos that I have on my phone right now, and it's gonna already start backing them up. Um, and then from now on, whenever I take a new photo, it is actually going to instantly upload that when I'm on the proper Wi-Fi network. So here we're gonna take some photos and uh, see what happens when they upload. There. Okay, so let's jump into the Google Photos app. Here we can see that we have all of the pictures that we took tonight uploaded, as well as some of the, and all the previous pictures that I took on my phone as well. Um, if you see this circle icon, that means the picture or the video has not fully uploaded, but all the rest of these uploaded. Um, if you're going through the pictures and you see a few that you don't want, you can either just uh, select on it and click the delete key down there, or you can simply hold down and drag your finger over those pictures and it selects multiple. And if you selected too many, you just unselect them like that and then you can hit the delete key. Um, and here it's gonna say it's gonna to move to the trash, so if you accidentally delete something, you still have the opportunity to go and get it back. So I'm gonna hit move those to trash. Um, a few other options we have here. So down here you have three um, key features. You have the assistant, photos, and albums. Assistant is really cool because it will automatically take your photos and stylize them or put them together in a auto awesome movie is what it's called, or you have just your photos and then your album. So it's gonna um, create albums of events that you have, or you can create your own albums and share them with others. So let's check out what the assistant has for us. 
Um, here you can turn on your location history so it can tag those photos and um, show you where you took photos and you can search based on location for those photos. Here I can add a shortcut to this app in my gal or camera and then here it's just telling me what assistant is so I'm just gonna hit got it. So then here we have a few different options, album, collage, and animation. So if I go to my photos, I can um, hold down and select a few of these, and I hit this plus button, it gives me a few cool things that I can do. I can create an album, share an album, and that will go to all of your friends, and it will be a private link that only the person that has the link can see, but it's really cool because Anyone that has a web browser can see that. So they don't have to have this app, they can just load that up. Here I can create a movie or an animation. So let's just click animation and see what that does real quick. So here it has taken those few photos that I had and made a little animation and put that together. So that is essentially um, what the Google Photos app is. You can pull this lever down here and go all the way to the end of time that you have. I only have till March on here, but um, on my personal account, I have all the way back to 2005. You can actually upload all your existing photos that you have taken if they're on your computer. There is a photo uploader, and I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, once you get to your computer, all you have to do is go to the URL and type photos dot google dot com and if you are logged into the same account you logged in on your phone you will instantly see all of your photos here and like I mentioned before this is an unlimited amount of photos on your account from your phone and it's really great because you just have all your memories here um, say something happened to your phone you weren't able to back those up in any other way you now have them all here so I really recommend putting this on your phone. So over here we'll see that um, it's showing some of the same things we saw on the phone. We have the assistant, we have our photos, and we have our albums. If we look through here we'll see videos, we'll see that animation that I created. It is playing and we have all the same options. One cool thing here that I didn't mention on the phone is you have the search bar. So this of course is still going through and finding different things of the photos but here it's showing on my daughter and I can click on here and see all the photos of her. I can also search for all the movies I've taken. Um, I can search for my location and here I let's just type slide and search and see if it finds any of the photos and there you can see that it already took, um, I already found the slide in that photo. So if I go back here and I click the settings I can see the different shared albums, I can see that trash uh, settings, and then here is the app download. So if you want to back up all the existing photos that you have, this is where you go to, to to download the uploader to get all those photos from your computer onto your um, Google Photos library so that you have them wherever you go. Uh, and it's really great because it saves space on your phone and the app will actually say that your phone's running low can we take some of those photos that you've already backed up and remove them from your phone so we save space. A couple more things that you can do on the web is say you find a picture that you really like. So here I'm gonna open up some of these pictures. And once you have opened it up, you have a few options where you can actually download that photo to your computer and then send it to be printed. So up here I can click the more options <laughs> And there I have the download. Here I can rotate, add to different albums. I can also zoom in, get info, um, or you can click the edit button. So built into Google Photos, this works on the phone app as well as in the browser, is you have different options to edit that photo. So here it, the photo is a little dark and I can um, brighten it up a little. I can also just click this auto button and it automatically does its best, which I think did a pretty good job. And I can change Daddy, the vintage we're, look. We're, we're out of applesauces. Okay, we'll get some. Here you can do the color filter, so you can go through these and filter them out, filter the photos out, make them look really cool. Um, and if maybe the photo didn't work right, you can come in here and crop it or even rotate it and adjust 
the rotation so it looks a little bit better. And hopefully Google creates a uh, uh, video of our event tonight and I'll be able to post that as well so you guys can see what it does with different events that you have when you've taken a lot of pictures and videos and loads them all together. Well, that's it. This is the Google Photos app with unlimited storage. I really recommend that everyone use this app. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Yeah. Important things that we all need to do on our own. <laughs>